Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you, quite obviously, a little Primark haul. Um, I took the girls in to Cardiff shopping this week, just for a few back to school bits and bobs. And we got a few bits from Primark, so here we are. A few bits, I say. Look at the size of this bag. It's ridiculous. So, first of all, bought these for Bean, who is eight. She's been desperate for bras, so I caved and brought her these little crop tops. They're just a bit like short vests, they're not quite bra stage yet, but she's really pleased with those. Um, it's a bit mismatch in here, so I'll just get it out as I see it. This is for Jelly Baby. It's really cute, really bang on trend with the monochrome sort of thing. I love the stars. It was like so cheap. £2.50 or something in this dress, perfect for with little black leggings um, and you can dress it up and dress it down. It's actually a little bit big for her, it's four to five, but she's four and a half. It's a bit big so we might actually save that for next year, but it was such a bargain I can't take it back. Um, this is something I bought for Bean who is eight. This scarf, she's been desperate for a scarf so she could be like me. Um, this one Actually, you can't tell until you unfold it out. It's a little toucan print. I don't know if you can see that there. I actually quite fancy it for me. But it was only a pound. So, And she's really pleased with that. She's wanted to wear it every single day. She's so pleased with that. So that was well worth a pound. Uh, what else have we got? These are little jeans for Jelly Baby. These are aged three to four. And they fit her perfectly, even though I said she's four and a half. She's not particularly small either, I don't know what it is, but they fit her perfectly. Um, they were actually £8, not too cheap for Primark, but they've got these really cute little lace details. And on the back pockets, just really cute little lace details. So. And as I said, they fit her really nicely, so they were worth it too. And for Bean, I got some jeans from there as well. These were in the sale actually, so these were like £5. These fit her perfectly, got a little patchwork detail there and she'll only wear skinny jeans so they look like leggings and I really like the style of those and they were a bit of a snip at five pounds. Um, next for the baby I couldn't resist this t-shirt, this dinosaur print t-shirt. It really reminds me of the print of the ladies t-shirt in, oh I can't remember the film, with George Clooney and the two children. Uh, someone can write it in the comments, the name of that film. I don't know if you think I'm talking nonsense. But she wears one of his little boy's t-shirts and it's got this sort of dino print and sort of print on. I think it's so cute. I love that. And these are too big for this year, but I thought I'd get them for next year because they didn't do them in a the size down. These little chino shorts in this turquoise blue with a um, little palm print on them, palm tree print. So, so cute. So they're going in his too big drawer for next year. I hope I don't forget about them. Um, next up, a few more sort of back to school bits. Primark's really good for basic bits like this. Um, my girls tend to put holes in their tights. I think Bean will just sit there bored in class and just put a finger through her tights. So I don't buy expensive tights because they, they don't last whatever you do. Um, so these are grey tights. I got one each. One each of those in each size. And some socks, socks as well. These are white knee high socks. These are actually really good. They wear really well. Um, I bought one of those in each size. Where's the other one? They look dinky compared to them. Dinky ones. Knee high socks. Really cute. Um, what's that, these are little knickers. I bought them a set of these each. Find the other set. I hope I've got a set each. There it is. Set each. So just plain knickers. Again, they seem to just get through knickers. So I don't buy expensive knickers. I don't mind throwing these away. These are two pound thirty for seven. So they can get thrown away. They're ruined. It's fine. And I also got. I bought crop tops for me, and I got these little proper little vests for a jelly baby. Pack of three for two pound thirty. They're four to five. I've bought. I'm hoping they're not too big because all the rest of her stuff is three to four from here. Um, 
a little bit of back to school stuff. They just randomly had these pencils in there. 12 pencils for a pound. They'll be good for back to school, so I've got to throw those in. And then the rest of the stuff I got was some home stuff for me. We've just done up our bathroom, which I'm going to write a blog post on, and if I've written it, I'll link it in the description box below. But I've done a sort of shabby chic pink bathroom, and this hand towel is gorgeous. It's only £3. Um, I was coveting the Kath Gibson tiles. They're so expensive. And I saw this, and I was like, I can do that. I can, I can make do. I can budget. So that's my thrifty Kath Kitson version of a towel. Little hand towel. And I also got a plain pink one. This one was £4 actually, even though it's plain, but it's because it's a really nice quality. It's really, really thick and soft. And I'll actually, if this washes nicely, I'll go back and buy the bath versions. It's their, their luxury hand towel. Um, but it's so thick and so soft that I wouldn't mind getting big bath towels in that, actually. So we'll see how it fares. And then I bought Jen from my shabby chic bathroom. A bath mat! I have been looking for oh, pale pink, must be really out of fashion. It's hot pink everywhere, but I really want pale pink to give my shabby chic theme. And this is springy and soft and gorgeous. And I would buy two because I wash them all the time. But the back is this weird rubber. So I'm not sure just how well it'll wash. So I'm going to just give this one a go. It was £4. So I don't mind spending £4 just to give it a go. But it's, it is gorgeous. It really feels lovely. So I'm looking forward to putting my little feet on that. And I think that is it. Um, oh, no. This is the thing about Primark. You forget your writings. A couple more back to school things in the bottom here. Just some pencils, a pound. I do them little homework boxes when they go back to school. I'll put a link to that post in the description box as well. They're for their homework boxes. And I think you have to pick these up every time you do the Primark. It's like an unwritten law as well as Hairman, which I didn't get this time. Cotton pads. 50p for all that. Absolute bargain. So there we are. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I bought in Primark. It's quite a little collection there, it's a bit of a messy video, sorry, it's not very beautiful in the background, um, but there we are. I haven't done a video for ages, so it's really nice to do one. I don't know what sort of one I'll do next, maybe I'll do a back to school haul with all the stuff I've bought for back to school. School uniforms, new shoes, stationery and stuff, if you fancy seeing that, let me know. Let me a comment below and subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks, Thanks for me. watching, see you soon, bye!